So we are very excited to introduce the Protector Eye Control. So what's different about the Eye Control is that not only is it self-testing and it can send you an alert via uh, email or text, but in that alert, you're able to get back in to the system and control it, monitor it, and manage it remotely from wherever you are in the world. So I'll show you a couple functions on the unit before we get too far into the technology. So the unit itself, the hardware here, is pretty straightforward, it has an intuitive interface, many buttons. It's pretty easy to figure out how to navigate through it. So for example, if you wanted to test the pump, you'd push test, you'd push equipment, and then pump. Now there are a lot of uh, features and settings and modes on the system that you can go through and configure. Most things are set up at the, by, uh, by default to be pretty typical for most basements. But I'll show you in a minute uh, some of the things that you're able to configure and change. Just put some water back in the tank here. So for example, you could go through the mode menu and adjust uh, the running time of the pump. You could adjust how often it self-tests and whether it's a primary pump or a backup pump. What kind of battery, how many batteries, what type of battery, how large the pump is, if you weren't for some reason using our pump. Anyway, there's a lot of different modes that you can look at and test and manipulate. There's uh, 16 different alarms that you can turn on or off. If there is an alarm of some sort, for example, I'll turn on the, the backup pump as if the water came up to the float. Now the unit is beeping that it's in backup mode active alarm. So anytime the unit is beeping or if there's something going on, all you have to do is push the, the very well marked green silence button. And then you'll get a choice as to how long you want to silence that alarm for. If you don't push anything, it'll confirm it out at whatever the default choice was. So what's great about the system, like I said before, is that it sends the link to access the unit right in the email or text alert that it sends you. So the unit just sent me an alarm, and I'm opening up my iPad here. And then I am just going to launch the online interface. Let me hold it a little better for you. So I'll make it a little bit bigger. So now, you can see when I touch a button here, the unit reacts and the screens are the same. So I can do any of those things that we talked about before. I can turn the pump on, or here, let's go back and do that test. Equipment, pump, and there it goes again. Except there's no water in the tank. So all those things are very uh, um, easy to access and the keypad is familiar to you because it's the same keypad that's on the hardware. But what we've built into the system is a much easier way to interface with it. You simply log in. Now when you log in you have five different tabs. The legend tab just gives you an explanation of how the system works if you forget what an LED flashing means or a button, what a button press does. The config tab, this is how your unit is set up. So you can see that this unit, we've just named it eye control, here's the user pin. Uh, for example, down here, the self-test frequently is frequency is every 12 hours. The pump run time in seconds, uh, when, the, when the float goes down is 10 seconds. These aren't real important to know right this second, but these are all settings that you're able to change to suit your, uh, your basement. There's an AOK -okay notification if you want positive reinforcement that everything is, is okay and there hasn't been an alarm and you're just wondering, you can set it up to, to send you an alert maybe once a week or once a day, whatever your preference is. 
Uh, there is a pump test button, so let me put some water in the tank here so we don't get sprayed again. So for example, I can push the pump test button, and there goes the pump. I'll turn it off, not listen to the whole thing. The next tab is alarms. Now we silence the, the, the alarm, the backup pump running alarm, by pushing the green button. That will unsilence it. So now it's beeping again, everything turns red, the, the red down in the uh, alarm tab also turns red. We can silence it by doing that. This is just a real quick way to know what alarms are active and be able to silence them all, either one at a time or, or uh, uh, all together. And then if your event is over, so the backup pump maybe isn't going to run anymore because now the power is back on or you've fixed the primary pump, uh, whatever the case may be, then you can actually reset the alarms, which will then put that back to green. The, back, the, the display is back to white and everything's back to normal. The next tab here is a history tab, which if you are interested, you can hit the retrieve button and pull a history of the last 24 alarms. And then the emails tab. So if, uh, if three different email recipient choices, you got one there, one there, and finally one there. So for example, email three could be maybe your, you or your spouse or your contractor, and you can choose all the different alarms that you want to have go to that email recipient. And getting back to that config screen where it, talked, where it was the uh, AOK -okay notification, if you want to be part one of those recipients of an AOK, -okay, then you just turn that on right here. So that's the real quick basic run through of, the, of how the tabs work and the interface in general. We'll have some additional videos getting into more details about the interface. So thanks for watching, and if you have any questions about the protector eye control, feel free to call or watch our website for further updates and videos. Thank you.